woman wrote to Slate's Agony Ank columnist complaining that not only does her husband refuse to take off his mask inside the house, he even keeps it on during sex. Yeah, this is real. This isn't the Babylon Bee. I've been married to a great guy for five and a half years. He is handsome, sexy, funny and kind. It's true that he has always been a little prissy about illnesses, but I never thought it was a real problem. However, during the pandemic, his terror about getting sick has reached new levels. For the last year, he has refused to take off his face mask, even when we are at home, just the two of us. This is true even now that he's fully vaccinated for the virus. He wears it to sleep, to do most of his bedroom activities, and yes, even during lovemaking. <sighs> to eat, he pulls it up to expose his mouth and then quickly pulls it back down between bites. Well, he does not insist that I do the same, I can tell it bothers him that I don't, especially because I've now started going maskless outside per the CDC guidelines and plan on restaurant dining inside soon for a girls' night out. She goes on to explain how he's terrified of removing the mask for any reason. Just to be on the safe side. I want to see my beautiful husband's face again. I want to kiss him on the lips romantically like we used to and not through a piece of fabric. He does not change his mask very often, and it's often smelly and soiled. Disgusting. This may all sound like one big joke. Boy, is it hilarious. But mainstream media outlets and major universities have repeatedly told people to wear masks during sex. During the UK's most recent lockdown, the BBC published an article advising couples to, quote, avoid kissing, wear a face covering, and choose positions that aren't face-to-face -face during sex. The University of Georgia told students to wear face masks during lovemaking. The University of North Texas not only told students to wear masks during sex, but also to wear them, quote, during mutual masturbation to reduce your risk. They called it... masturbating. This mask-obsessive husband's tea levels must be lower than those of a BuzzFeed Try Guy. Hey, hey, hi, hi guys, how you doing? Hi, Dr. Fauci. So I can't imagine their sex life was that passionate to begin with, but just imagine the utter state of this insipidly neurotic mess that he's put himself in to continue to behave like this. Lockdowns and mask mandates have literally created a new mental disorder called COVID-19 anxiety syndrome. Governments admit their scare propaganda was too effective and it's traumatized people for life. They've created an entire generation of spineless agrophobic jellyfish who cling to their face mask like a toddler clings to a safety blanket. The agony ant columnist advised the woman to have her husband seek therapy. In reality, the only thing she should be seeking is a divorce. It's absolutely crucial for you to help me fight the war on free speech by supporting me via subscribe star link in description, and also signing up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter.